best Democrats are seeking to bolster the case for impeaching President Trump, describing his pressuring of Ukraine to investigate a political rival as a clear and present danger to free and fair elections and national security in a record hearing that co could lay, lay the groundwork for a vote later this week. The top Democrat on the panel says there was extensive proof of President, Trump, President Trump's wrongdoing. Republicans fired back, accusing Democrats of embarking on a partisan-driven flight of fancy to remove the president from office without any proof he had ab abused his power, obstructed Congress, or committed other impeachable offenses. Where's Adam? Where's Adam? His report, his name, Mr. Goldwyn, you're a great attorney, but you're not Adam Schiff, and you don't wear a pen. That's true. Are you going to go on record in front of everybody here today and say that you will not tell who ordered this, you or Mr. Goldman? Mr. Goldman, you or Mr. Schiff? I am going to go on record and tell you that I'm not going to reveal how we conducted this investigation. And that's the problem we have with this entire thing, Mr. Schiff said behind closed doors. I can doors tell you what the importance thing. is. I'm done it. with you for right now. We're done. Right. You're not answering the question. You're not being honest about this answer because you know who it is. You're just not answering. Uh, what are you trying to say? What is the implication here? But by the way, I didn't give anything close to a million dollars remotely. So I don't no, know. The implication is we yeah. want Schiff in that chair, not you. The implication is the person that wrote the report is the person that should come yeah. and present it. And you weren't elected by anybody. And you're here giving gentlemen this testimony not, in place of the chairman. Have, I hope that clears up the implication. The gentleman does not have the time. And the gentleman has been warned before. He cannot simply yell out and disrupt the committee. The gentleman, Mr. Collins, has the time. And for more on this development, let's get more from political analyst Egberti John Jallo. Many thanks to you, um, Egberti John Jallo, for joining us on this hour. Um, first of all, the Democrats have had, um, House Democrats have had, just had a press conference where they said that they are expected to unveil um, the, the articles of impeachment against Trump, which will focus largely on um, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. What, what do you make of, of, of those charges? In fact, uh, this is one of the greatest uh, political uh, impeachment processes in the history of the United States. For lovers of history and political scientists, it shows and unravels the situation where the abuse of power in political office is absolutely questionable. The Democrats are insisting that the United States President Donald Trump, by his phone calls with Zelensky, the Ukraine President, abused his powers by trying to pressure on the Ukraine president, the Ukrainian president, to push for the investigation of Joe Biden's son, Hunter. Whereas these investigations uh, have been found, even in the Ukrainian authorities, that, that, that Hunter was not really culpable in this investigation. But for that same phone call, which it is not a US policy, According to the United States Judicial, uh, Judicial uh, Service Commission, that for a U.S. policy to be made uh, sacrosanct for whatever investigations that is necessary, such an investigation has to pass through the due procedures of the judicial processes. Whereas Trump, President Trump did not do that, according to the inquiry, he went ahead so the, Democrat, the, the House of Representatives Democratic Wing is looking at that situation as an abuse of power and processes. Um, now, the, the, the House Republicans are saying, and I just want to quote, quote what they said, that the Democrats are embarking on a partisan-driven flight of fancy. And some people seem to agree with them because you, you hardly find any House Democrat um, or, or um, Senator you know, supporting this. Is this not a partisan move? Well, politics is always partisan. But once a president is elected, he serves the overall interest of the whole country. And therefore, whatever Trump is doing in his office, President Trump is doing in his office, must reflect the overall interest of the American people. Therefore, what the Republicans are only alluding is based on their own subjective partisan politicking. They are saying that whatever allegations the Democrats are having, which they has, the Speaker is asking for the impeachment of Donald Trump, is to them a, a, a baloney. 
It is. It is. It has no foundations. It is. It is speculative. It, it has no uh, 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 clear findings. But if you look at the democratic processes of how governance is supposed to be, accountability is one of the core issues that must be reflected in every government. Therefore, if President Trump has been accused of 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 of, of disrupting congressional inquiry which we saw even in the uh, 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 hearings. I've been following these calls for, for more than three months now, or two months now coming. And we discovered that President Trump in himself, at the point even when uh, one of the diplomats, uh, uh, Ivanovich, was, was testifying on the oath, and he had to tweet on this respect, and that such an attitude was out of a gentlemanly conduct of a congressional inquiry. So I think the Republicans are actually fighting back to protect their party, whereas the Democrats are like looking at the extant rules that govern a president within the foreign policies of the United uh, States. Uh, allow me to within allow me to butt in, um, John. Like you said, you have been following this um, for the past two months. It's been the hearings and the questionings have been on for the past two months. In your own opinion. It, is there any proof here, any proof of abuse of power and obstruction of Congress here? Well, in my own opinion, I think when I, when I, when I watched the president tweet to Ivanovich, I was, I was like, why would he do this? But honestly, if you look at what is going on, I, will, I would personally say, in all civilized democracy, let everything be laid open and bare. Then justice will be brought to book. And then whoever is abusing power, because we are seeing a situation where democratic presidents or democratic elected leaders, somehow, somewhere, in their, in their exercise, uh, exercise of functions, sometimes do air. And if these airings are not addressed properly in Congress, then we don't have a democracy to depend on in the world. Therefore, if the number one president of the United States or the number one president of the world is, on, is subjected under this kind of inquiry, I believe that the president should allow the inquiry to go on. And what, what, what the uh, Congress is arguing about practically is that he subverted many of the, the, the testimonies that were supposed to come and testify at the Congress. You know, when these uh, inquiries and investigations have been going on, they have called a lot of persons to come All and right. testify on this. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid, John, so um, point, we, do, we do have to leave it there. That's, that's the much time we have. Um, John Egbeji Jalo, many thanks for your time on this issue.